Well, hello everyone, it's the Granola Creationist here, and today's video is about Jonah and the Fish. The record of history of Jonah and the Fish is an event in history where, where a man named Jonah was swallowed by a great fish due to his disobedience to God's command. Jonah was commanded by God to go to Nineveh and warn the citizens of Nineveh about where their wickedness will lead them. That's for you, Jonah 1, 1 through 3. Now the word of the Lord come unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Jonah 1, 1 through 3, KJV. God was commanding Jonah to go to Nineveh and warn them about where their wickedness is leading them. And then, unfortunately, Jonah disobeyed God by going on a ship to go to Tarshish rather than going to Nineveh to warn the people in Nineveh about where their wickedness is, who will lead them. Well, that's your Jonah 1, 4 through 6. But the Lord spent... Uh, I, I mean... But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him, and said unto him, What what meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so be that God will think upon us, that we perish not. John, oh, Jonah 1, 4-6, KJV. Due to Jonah's disobedience, oh, Due to Jonah disobeying God, a, a great wind into the sea was sent out by God. After this, the mariners were scared, and during that and during that storm, Jonah was fast asleep, and then one of the mariners woke Jonah up, and then told him to call up upon his God. Now let's see Jonah 1, 7-9. And they said, Every one to his fellow, Come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lots fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us. What is thine occupation? And to whence come, uh, oh, comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am, Han or, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry lands. Jonah 1, 7-9, KJV. Next, the people on the ship decided to cast lots to find out the... Uh, okay, so next, the people on the ship decided to cast lots to find out the cause of the evil upon them, and the lot fell on Jonah. And then the people on the ship asked Jonah several questions. Now, let's see Jonah 1, 10 through 15. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them, then said they upon him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? 
for the sea wrought and was temp or tempestuous, and he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea become unto be calm unto you, for I know that for my sake um this great tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not. For the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they carried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood, for thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they oh, took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord, and made vows. Jonah 1, 10-15, KJV. Okay, so, uh, Jonah asked the people on the ship to throw him into the sea, and then the men rowed hard to... Uh, 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 was to bring the ship to the land, and they failed to do so. And then they cried out to the Lord, and after that they threw Jonah into the sea. And then after that, the storm ended, and the men developed a fear of the Lord, offered a sacrifice to the Lord, and made meaningful vows. Now let's see Jonah 1, 17 through 2, 1. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish uh, of the fish's belly. Jonah 1, 17 through 2, 1, KJV. What happened here um, was that Jonah was swallowed by a great fish, and then Jonah was in the belly of the great fish for three days and three nights. And during that time, Jonah prayed to the Lord. Now let's see, Jonah 2, 10 through 3, 5. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid, bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God, and proclaimed a fast, and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them even to the least of them. Jonah 2, 10 through 3, 5 KJV. Anyways, what happened there was that after the three days and three nights were over, the great fish vomited Jonah out onto dry land. And then God commanded Jonah from for a second time to go to Nineveh and warn the citizens of Nineveh about what their wickedness will lead them. And then Jonah obeyed God's command and went to Nineveh. And after Jonah got to Nineveh, or Jonah warns that the city of Nineveh would be overthrown in forty days if the citizens of Nineveh did not repent of their of their wickedness. After this, the people in Nineveh believed God, and they took heed to the warning, and they started and they started a fast. Fortunately, the people in Nineveh repented of their wickedness. Okay, so fortunately, the people in Nineveh repent. Or repented of their wickedness, as proven by Jonah 3.10. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day, and goodbye.